Let him know. Let him know. We finally found our identity and who we are, what we can be. Welcome back to NBA Countdown, presented by DoorDash. So we talked about how good the Cavaliers have been, but I just want to shed some light here on Donovan Mitchell specifically, because he's on pace to be the second player in Cavs franchise history to average at least 25 points, five rebounds, and five assists per game in a single season, along with, who else? Of course, one Mr. LeBron James. And I spoke with Mitchell about where he fits in this entire MVP conversation. This is one of the most interesting and wide-open MVP races that we've seen. Do you think that you should be brought up more in that conversation? Most definitely. Do I feel like I belong there? I definitely do. I feel like I'm top three. I'm definitely there. But ultimately, you know, to get there, you have to continue to win. You know, and that's all I'm going to do is continue to find ways to help my team win. And, you know, ultimately, when it comes time to April, handle business. So our friend- I wouldn't be surprised, though, if the Cavs make it to the Eastern Conference Finals. Well, and if they do that, then maybe some of those decisions, the financial ones they need to make, all of a sudden they become a lot more clear they're through built, those trifocals. They're built well. All right, it's time to get you out to Cleveland. Mark Jones, Doris Burke, Katie George, take it away. All right, and welcome to the south shore of Lake Erie. Cleveland, everybody, where that Arctic blast doesn't feel quite as paralyzing coming off the lake as it usually does. You want to know why? Well, it's because the Cavaliers are bringing a lot of heat to Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse over the last two months. Welcome, everyone, to NBA Courtside, presented by DoorDash. Donovan Mitchell, five-time All-Star and arguably the hottest player in the league over the last month and a half for the Cavaliers, up against DeMar DeRozan, the six-time All-Star of the Chicago Bulls, his team fresh off a win a couple of nights ago as we take a little bit of inventory in the Eastern Conference. Cleveland in the two-hole right now, but think about this. Just six weeks ago, they were a play-in tournament team, right where, about where Chicago is right now in the ninth spot. Hello, everybody. I'm Mark Jones, courtside, along with Doris Burke, Katie George, joining us in just a moment. Doris, the, the Cleveland Cavaliers might be the best team at the NBA that remains a curiosity for a lot of people, but if they're a curiosity, then Donovan Mitchell has a lot of answers for people, doesn't he? So true. The Cavs and Donovan have both earned the right to be talked about. A year ago, Donovan was second team all NBA, and yet remarkably, in virtually every category, he has raised his level of play. We most closely associate him with consistency as a scorer. Seven straight years entering the league over 20. But to me, it's the overall impact he's making. His improvement on the defensive end. He's rebounding the ball at a higher clip than ever in his career. He is also assisting and raising his teammates level at an all-time high. He has been special. And yes, Donovan, we may talk about you as an MVP candidate. Pretty much unguardable right now. And Katie George has more. Well, Mark Doris, Donovan Mitchell may be playing the best basketball of his career, but for some reason his name has not been mentioned often when it comes to the MVP race. Mitchell says he deserves at least to be in the conversation given the way he's playing, given the way this team has played since the new year. Mitchell believes he has been left out of talk so far because of last year's playoff performance. He said that's the reality of this league. You earn respect when the lights are the brightest. You're held accountable for the way you perform in the playoffs. He owns that, but he said regardless if his name starts to gain traction or not, he's going to continue to be the best leader he can be for this team, and when April comes, he plans to take care of business, Mark. Yeah, looking to expunge the memory of what happened last year in the first round. As for coaching, Doris, J.B. Bickerstaff might be doing the best coaching job in the NBA this year when you consider the fact that he really had to morph his team into something different to get them to where they are. He was down two starters, Darius Garland and Evan Mobley, when they started their ascension up the Eastern Conference standings, and they become a pace and space three-point shooting team. The miraculous part is through that transformation, he wants their identity to be the best defensive team in the league. Their numbers are a testament to that. They've stayed true to their identity. Well, Darius Garland in the lineup tonight. He's one of the key pieces for the surging Cavaliers team up against the all-star DeMar DeRozan. We'll have courtside on the other side of this break. Back after this.
NBA Courtside on ESPN is presented by DoorDash, the official partner of the NBA. Work, yeah, turn it up. You can feel the love in the land. The Cavs are rising up in the East. They continue playing at this rate. It's going to be some issues in that Eastern Conference. Hey, got it. Whole team limitless. Never said we above. Whole crowd show love. Another one. Spider goes airborne. We're not a team to be taken light. But off the backboard to himself. Do you believe that? It's good, but, you know, it's this February. There's a lot of fight and there's a lot of hunger. And guys want to be great. The Bulls are not at full strength, but their spirits are strong. Adversity could build complete character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut me up. Kobe White is a bad man. Right for the lead. Uh, yeah. To the rack. Valentine's Day is about hearts, and they're full in Cleveland for these Cavs against the Bulls tonight. Welcome, everyone, back to Cleveland, and uh, welcome to NBA Wednesday, presented by State Farm. Here on Valentine's Day, the Bulls taking on the Cavaliers, and not sure how those two are going to work it out, but everybody gets a pass and a disclaimer today. Let's take a look at tonight's starting lineups delivered by Taco Bell. B. White and Ayo Desumu, DeMar DeRozan, Vucevic, and Andre Drummond on the front line as they go with their big starting lineup. Meanwhile, for the home crew tonight, Darius Garland and Donovan Mitchell in the backcourt. Max Struess, free agent signed from the Miami Heat. Evan Mobley and Jared Allen at the five for the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Cavs are 35 and 17 overall, 18 and nine at home. And Cleveland coming off a disappointing loss here at home a couple of nights ago against the desperate Philadelphia 76ers, but you can't point the finger at that guy, Donovan Mitchell. He ended up with 36 in that game. Cavaliers in the national spotlight tonight, Doris, and uh, an opportunity to show the curiosity seekers exactly what they're made of. It's Valentine's Day. Let's give the Cavaliers a little love, Mark Jones. They, they ascended the Eastern Conference standings while down two starters for a significant period, Garland and Mobley. I'm excited to see him live. Last time we were here, ESPN.